Hey, it's Mark, RPM Tesla. We're gonna do a full installation video, show everybody how to install their beautiful D-style steering wheel. And uh, we wanna point out some similarities and some differences first. Uh, this is the standard yoke steering wheel. So whether or not you're installing this or our yoke steering wheel with the leather handles or the carbon handles, we wanted to show you what we designed and how it matches up perfectly. But just look at this dimensionally. We didn't want to make a round steering wheel. We didn't want to make a, a boring, plain steering wheel. And at the same time, we wanted to not alter the wheel. If you alter this wheel and bend the steel on the bottom or change it, you could uh, affect your warranty. So we didn't want to do any of that. We just wanted to make it nice, consistent, with an extension over the top. So that's exactly what we've done. Now, some people think that this is a little strange and they prefer it to be a little angled. But if you don't have an opening this big, you can't see the gauges all the way through. So that's why we did it. And uh, now we're going to proceed with the installation and show you what we're going to do. So when you purchase the wheel from us, you're going to get this exact replacement. It's super easy to install. We're also going to include two Allen wrenches. And with the Allen wrenches, we're going to teach you how to remove your airbag. And we're also going to give you one socket. Now, this isn't a common socket, so we have to purchase them in bulk but it is called a 10 millimeter hex socket this is to loosen the bolt in the steering wheel so we're going to give you everything you need you're going to send us your steering wheel back and now let's move into the car without cutting doing all this in one tape so have a seat down there and again this is our first heated version as well so come a little closer and we'll put it on a real wide angle and we like to put all our tools on the bottom and hopefully you can see the screen and everything. So the new wheel, we have power for the wheel and we also have this plug, which is for the heated sensor around the wheel. That's gonna heat the entire wheel. So if you have a Model S or X now, it's heated from the bottom, but we're gonna make the whole thing heated. Also, if you buy a carbon fiber version, only the handles will be heated. So anyway, this is a real OEM Tesla wheel, Tesla logo, Tesla everything on it. It's not a duplicate. It's not a copy. It's not an aftermarket wheel. We can't stress, stress that enough. You're not putting in your car an aftermarket steering wheel. All you're doing is putting in an altered or a wheel that's been slightly varied or changed on the perimeter. Okay, so let's start now with turning off the power. Go into service. Um safety safety and power off we just like the power things off whenever you can and these are the allen wrenches and watch how they fit in the hole down here so the one's going to go in here and one's going to go in here and let's show you on this steering wheel what's going to happen people like to understand what's going to happen with the spring so when you put this allen wrench in this hole you're going to be pushing on a wire or a spring so see the wire is right here and when you push on this, the wire moves. And when the wire moves, it lets the airbag go. So it's pretty easy to understand. Every wheel is different. We've been doing this for years. But you insert it in, and then you simply slide it. So here we go, just like this. And watch the metal ring move. So it's just that much movement. Now we're gonna show you on the car. And again, we give you two Allen wrenches so you can do both simultaneously to release the airbag. So one goes in here, one goes in here that you won't be able to see. And then you're putting it in straight in and it's right up against the metal ring. So you kind of feel it and then it's one, two, three and you're gonna take both hands and move them slightly. One, two, three, pop. You see the airbag release. Do it one more time. You gotta get on the surface where the ring is. So there we go. Now both sides are released, it's that easy. And you, again, take a look inside here and we'll show you. Um, this one is moving that ring right there, if you can zoom in. So that's releasing the airbag from this post. So it's that simple. Then you're gonna pull these out. And now we're gonna take the airbag out. Now to take the airbag out, there's two clips on the yellow plug. And you wanna push, squeeze them both and pull. So uh, normally we use a pair of needle nose pliers, but we want to show people that you can do it right with your fingers. So just push both clips, hold the wire in your hand, push clip upper and lower, 
and then simply pull it for tug it tug it until it comes right out okay we'll get a pair of needle nose okay now to release the airbag we're just going to go like this with the needle nose pliers i like to just grab it top and bottom and wiggle it and it comes right out so one more time put it right back inside so when you reinstall it you just push it in like this locks in to remove it we're going to go like this just bite the teeth and pull it comes right out so it's really simple so let's put this aside and now we're going to move on to taking the steering wheel off so there is one more plug inside so this power this is our power plug i want to come all the way around same thing we're just going to grab the clips and pull make sure you've got it on the top and the bottom and that's it now the steering wheel is ready to come out so how do you take it out 10 millimeter socket we send you along with the two allen wrenches you're going to use this and you're going to attach it to a torque bolt or a wrench or just any um, any long adjustable socket and you're going to turn left like this and that's it look how easy it comes out so then just unscrew it you can take this off and this is your steering wheel column bolt so don't lose it now now we're going to take the wheel off so watch how easy the wheel comes off just going to go like this and you're going to grab it on the top and the bottom left and right and i'm just wiggling it like this wiggling and pulling slightly it's working its way right off back and forth over here and almost there it's getting to the end and it comes right off so that's it now the first thing you already checked this is a rev e e is the most current steering wheel revision and e signifies or designates these switches so that's rev e okay so just put this aside send it back to us as soon as we get it we refund your 600 dollars credit you won't need it um ever again because now you're going to put in this one okay so now take the steering wheel just like this okay we just realized that this prototype is not heated so the heat connection we're not going to do we're not going to test but everything else is normal okay now the first thing we want to point out is look at how beautiful this napa leather is it's super soft grip it's made imported from milan it smells uh, like leather <laughs> here's our nice black stitching at the bottom we could do this in different colors for people if you have a red car or a white car and you want red stitching or white stitching uh, we don't even charge anything extra for it we also could put a racing stripe in it we don't charge for that but again this is all full leather real leather and again everything is wrapped right next to the original vinyl so see the difference between the vinyl and the leather it's almost indistinguishable and look at how nice the black leather matches all the interior, all the vinyl in the vehicle. And uh, anyway, now let's proceed with putting it on. So there's a spline at the top. So if you took it off and you move these dials, just make sure you're at nine and five. But there's a spline here. And there's no way to put this on wrong. So you line it up start like this, just straight on until you feel that the, it catches right in the groove. You slide it right on. It's that easy. Okay, it's all the way down. Now the first thing we're gonna do is stay right here with the camera and get a little closer like here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is reconnect everything. I hate when you watch a video and they go, okay, do it all in reverse. No, 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 we like to do it in real time. So you're really learning and we're really showing you how to do it. So the first thing you wanna do now is plug in the main power wire. We're gonna plug that in. And now we're not going to plug in the airbag or anything. We're just going to wait a second. And we're going to touch the brake pedal, wake the car up. And of course, we want to test everything. So we're going to put on some music and turn it up. And then we're going to use the knob here. All the lights have to come on immediately. If the lights don't come on, then it means that you have the wrong revision number. It means that you probably need a revision D instead of E. So there's only that slight possibility. So that's why we have the other video where we tell you how to make sure you have the right revision number. 
Okay, it's also normal to say safety system fault because the airbag is over here. Everything works good. The buttons work good, the microphone. Because remember, we do disassemble this whole area, rebuild it and reassemble it. So we want everyone to know that. Um, there's no secret there or proprietary information. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and turn off under safety. We're gonna turn it off one more time. And uh, now we're gonna simply put the bolt in. So the first thing to do is you put the bolt back in and you tighten it back up with the 10 millimeter socket we sent you. Just start it by hand and then turn it slowly and it grabs and it's super easy to put on. You can use any ratchet for this, but we like to use kind of a torque bar. And now you want to make it snug. So you want to just turn it like a little beyond uh, snugness and we're done with that. Now this wire, you want to push this wire down so it's out of the way because the airbag has to sit all the way down back there and flush. So uh, you'll notice the back of the airbag has to sit flush. These pins have to engage. Okay, so now we're just talking about perspective or angle. Now your, your seat can help you decide where to put the steering wheel. If you're shorter, you might want it like this. If you're taller, you're gonna wanna roll it up like this. But gauge visibility is what we're very proudest about. Look at the entire gauge cluster or the cluster. You can see everything through our D-shaped wheel. Uh, again, a lot of people have talked about, oh, why didn't you make it angled? Well, we didn't want to. <laughs> we want people to have the roundness, the feel of around the steering wheel, and the visibility of the gauges and our maps and everything that's showing up. So anyway, select it uh, according to here, as high or low as you want it depending on your seat height. Make sure you can see your gauge is good. That's pretty much it, it's done. Uh, you'll just put this one back in the box. We pay the shipping back. And uh, how easy was that? Two clips, two Allen wrenches and a bolt. Um, you can keep the tools. Um, and again, we're gonna go outside and drive it now. And uh, this customer's gonna love this one because they really wanted the real leather steering wheel. Again, it's made out of animal byproducts. So again, the vegan cause, we understand it, but leather is a byproduct and uh, it's gonna be left over no matter what. So we use this super nice soft Italian Napa leather and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, now what's it like to drive with the D-style full leather steering wheel? Well, of course the handles, the bottom, everything is super soft and comfortable. Much thicker padding as well as softer, uh, real leather. Uh, anyway, so let's show you here just by putting it in drive and taking some turns to show what it feels like is now you're back up here and your hands are on the 10 and the two or the nine and the three. You let the wheel go, you bring your hand back on top and it slides right back into place. So you're not reaching over, you're just using the standard old school, <laughs> as we call it, and then watch this now, just right like this and sl slides right back into place. Okay, thanks again for watching. Now we're gonna get into the installation if uh, this is coming up before then, which it should be. Thank you. Here's a little reverse too. Once around. And then forward. And then turning it and letting it slide back through your hands just like when we took drivers in turning your hand on the top back and forth how about doing a u-turn uh, a lot of people don't like the yoke with the hand over hand action which makes sense so we'll do a full U-turn here. So I take my hand at the top, and I spin it. And then when I let it go, it straightens out and slides right back through my hand. 